Hi, this is Mohammed Ahmed, and today we have a new EMR video. I know I have been posting recently a lot of ESDs, but I thought uh, to go back to EMR because in this video in particular, I'm using a new novel submucosa injection agent. Uh, it's called LVU, and it's a combination of methylene blue and other volume expander material that is um, uh, proprietary, and it's basically uh, helped to elevate the lesion for a longer period of time. So instead of uh, injecting the lesion uh, in the pieces or in the small areas and then dissect, we'll try to inject the whole lesion here. And as you can see, I'm trying to do dynamic injection in this lateral granular, uh, lateral spreading granular polyp, but it's not that easy. And the reason is that lesion was um, um, tattooed before, you could see before the procedure that we have a little bit of tattoo there. So we are doing the submucosa injection. We're ensuring that we're injecting behind the lesion, in front of the lesion, uh, in all the sides. Uh, you can see that uh, we are obtaining a very nice submucosa left here. And I'm making sure too that I'm breathing behind the lesion into the normal tissue, which is different than when we use salin. And the reason I'm doing that is that once we have this very nice, huge left, I want to take as much normal tissue as I can to ensure I have a clean margin. So now we're opening our snare, the three centimeter snare. Uh, from the front here, we're getting normal tissue. I hope I got all the polyp in the back. We wouldn't be 100% sure. We try to, as you can see, but with EMR, you cannot make sure of that. So you'll gradually use your endo cut Q current and remove the first piece. Now you'll inspect and find that we still have residue at that. So now we can remove the back side of the lesion and it is okay again to take normal tissue next to the polyp area. The more uh, surrounding normal tissue you have, the cleaner your margins will be. Occasionally you may need a smaller snare, maybe a one centimeter snare, to be able to remove uh, this uh, residual polyboid lesion. However, because we raised the lesion with this novel agent very well and we have a good uh, mucosal cushion, you can use that cushion of normal tissue with your snare and dissect. As you can see here, we're getting as much from the backside as we can and we are able to dissect this area. Also, you can notice that in spite of our uh, good effort in injecting, raising the lesion, there's some degree of fibrosis and residual uh, tissue and now we're going to use hot biopsy forceps with soft coagulation current. And I'm stressing again, soft coagulation, effect 550 watt. That will help us to uh, remove whatever residual tissue left. And while we're removing it, you are going to use soft coagulation. Uh, some people use APC, uh, post techniques uh, are fine. And that is the final image after EMR of the region. Thank you.